Protoss structure really shines when it comes to advanced earthquake engineering, building assessment and retrofit, performance-based design and seismic isolation. We worked hard this year to bring you new tools and methodologies in advanced earthquake engineering. Seismic isolation is a structural engineering technique used to mitigate the damaging effects of earthquakes on buildings and infrastructure. The primary objective of seismic isolation is to decouple the structure from the ground motion, thereby reducing the transfer of seismic forces to the building. This is achieved through the use of isolation bearings or devices placed between the building and its foundation, allowing the structure to move independently of the ground motion. By isolating the building from the shaking of the ground, Seismic isolation can significantly reduce the forces transmitted to the structure, thus minimizing structural damage and enhancing overall seismic resilience. Seismic isolation has been widely adopted in the design of critical facilities, such as hospitals, bridges, and nuclear power plants, where the preservation of functionality and safety during and after an earthquake is of utmost importance. We have redesigned how the seismic isolators are defined and designed in protostructure. You can now define isolator with the help of a library. Also, you will be able to specify nonlinear parameters. This way, you can perform a nonlinear time history analysis which considers the nonlinear parameters of the isolators. This will help you finalize the design of isolators by checking requirements and results under DBE and MCE earthquakes, such as isolator axial force history, lateral displacement responses, story accelerations, story drifts, and so on. Existing building assessment and retrofit has a different workflow and has different requirements from a new building design. One has to model the existing building, define in-situ materials and rebars even if the building blueprints are not available. Protest structure already had an effective workflow for assessment and retrofit, but with the new version the best got just better. In Protostructure 2024, we have introduced innovations and significant improvements to the building assessment workflow. This will make your assessment and retrofit work much easier and more efficient. You can now define the estimated or exact reinforcements inside the individual members in a hierarchical manner. We have improved solution algorithms in fiber section analysis and introduced new settings that will allow you to have more control over your project. Protostructure already had capacity reduction factors for corrosion and rebar realization. A new coefficient was introduced to cater for additional capacity reducing factors such as insufficient lap splices. And, the last but the not least, you have the option to model any member as linear elastic during assessment. This is usually necessary to exclude members which you don't expect any non-linearity. Follow us for more new features and innovations on this topic. Our team is already working hard to bring you more.